Oh, I can do a trash bag where quality doesn't matter. So I've been very, very busy lately, uh, hence for lack of videos on my main channel, but I thought I'd just give you a quick walkthrough one of a few channel related things I've just starting to accomplish, and that is a pretty brand new streaming setup. So, uh, in previous, I haven't had a monitor at all for streaming here, uh, that's been installed, uh, and we've currently got three cameras rolling where you can see my lovely black bathrobes and uh, my lovely black camera right there. So, uh, this is running on quite a bit of new hardware. Uh, we do have, uh, this is the old stuff, with the old uh, Canon uh, Allegria uh, R46 here sitting with a new sleeved uh, wiring harness which I've made out of uh, shrink wrap and uh, recycled uh, PC uh, like a power supply uh, wire wrap, the stuff you get on your PSU and that's uh, that's sitting on a tripod on a, a socialist lamp arm one of those and this is just so lovely I love these this is just uh, power and HDMI sleeved through running through there down there to a million extension cords leading to a new streaming PC well new in quote marks that's a, a 2013 Acer Aspire with an i5-3470 it's a built out of random trash picked parts I think that's a GT620 graphics card, pretty decent little computer could probably deal with a GPU upgrade and we've got uh, two of these out of focus uh, YK752 HDMI USB 3 dongles uh, which I bought off of eBay hoping they'd be decent uh, upgrade from the absolutely terrible HDMI capture cards I've been using in the past uh, these uh, HD72 something or the other uh, pieces of garbage which keep crushing these are awful trash I'm gonna smash those with a sledgehammer at some point because they have caused me so much pain uh, these new dongles seem to be uh, a fair bit more reliable uh, most notably you can actually use two dongles at once in a single PC you can't do that with the old capture cards and that was driving me crazy I could and it ruined other video capture devices so I was basically stuck using one camera but since we now have got two HDMI inputs I've also got a long as of course trash picked a HDMI cord running to the uh, the Panasonic camera over there so that's capturing the backside shot of me at the bench uh, placement is to be reconfigured once I get that lovely mess cleaned up but uh, let's see Ugh, I haven't got the hotkey set up yet but if we have a look at this there we go uh, we have a pretty useful uh, working shot from behind you can see the bench if I'm doing stuff over there you can get a pretty decent view and I can hold stuff up to the camera and looking forward to using that it's not going to be too bad and I've also got some custom sleeving and stuff d done on this camera so this is also capturing the audio on the uh, Rode wireless mic uh, there's a video link uh, mic it's disconnected I mean because I'm just testing it with an internal mic and uh, we've got on this camera a HDMI 8 on that side and uh, power in on that side is going into a similar kind of sleeving setup just going underneath that to give it some flexibility down all the way to a pretty decent uh, setup so this is just clamping in there so we have a good mobility on the tripod we can move it around as we please uh, while having no issues with the wire getting caught or bending uh, we've got a power bank here mounted in a sock taped to this, the tripod and uh, also zip tied so this is uh, a Klaus Olsen dual pack these have a little charger cradle so you can just rip this out, put it in the cradle and put the other one in there for quick uh, hot swap charging uh, which is very very good, I like these I don't, I'm going to review these at some point, is the plan, was the plan uh, and we've also got a HDMI extension 
or rather the interchanger there, so I can just unplug the HDMI going to the streaming PC from there and just plug it back in. I've tripod's a bit too light to do that. One handed. Oh, there we go. Hopefully the capture card didn't freeze man. So, ah, this is starting to become a pretty decent technical endeavour. I'm very much looking forward to actually putting this jig to the test. I just uh, put the finishing touches on it today, more or less. Uh, what's more to say? But yeah, we've also got the webcam there, cross child webcam, useful for the headshot. It's mostly just going to be thumbnailed at a low res, like that. So you can see my beautiful face. And you can also kind of look down at the bench, if need be. Another huge upside with a new setup, well, and the uh, backward, uh, backside of a Panasonic camera, is uh, you're actually going to be able to see my gear there through the camera if I zoom it in a bit. It's not going to be this wide in production. <sighs> so that's what's been going on. Uh, I have no idea when I'm going to have time to return to normal production schedule. I've been pathetically slow on releases lately, but that's a subject for another video. Just want to show off the new streaming setup and how sweet it is going to be. Uh, in other news, this PC, the old 2500K based thing, is probably going to die a quick death. That thing has been around for too long and it is well past its sell-by date. Well past. It's a piece of trash. <laughs> I think that's a GTX 260 graphics card. That's almost 10 years old. Uh. <laughs> Go away. Goodbye.